going on everybody? Got uh, Tough Mudder going on today. Fortunately I got to do it by myself. Brandy's hips are super bad. Not doing too good. So she's going to sit this one out. Just fine. I've done all these Tough Mudders alone with friends. It doesn't really matter. You're with a bunch of people out on the course anyways. But we just got here. Going to uh, going to get set up changed get ready to get on to the course here soon my wave starts in about 10 minutes so that uh, means the next time you see me is gonna be out on the course and we'll do a little mud montage yeah do a little mud montage show you the course the obstacles everything like that and then uh, Brandy's gonna have the camera hopefully get something going on well try to get some footage of me but probably not probably not she's probably gonna walk around and eat a bunch of food and just relax. So I'll see you guys out on the course. I'm a little fist bump for my con jacket. Remember you share a nation of the world with me. Buddies, are you ready? Those damn slippery balls, man. This is slippery balls. This is slippery balls. It's always slippery balls. <laughs>
Good work. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> I got shot in the eyeball. In the eyeball? It hit me right in the fucking eye. Oh, not good. <laughs> not good at all. You live to tell the story though. That yeah. is true. I think it was not true. <laughs> well, we finished. And uh, again, didn't fail any obstacle. Ran the whole time but let me tell you those were the worst calf cramps I've ever had and I've done a lot of these that was by far the worst calf cramps I've ever had like mile 5 hit mile 6 I think it was mile 6 hit and they started to cramp so bad I didn't prep at all with hydration anything but we're gonna hang out and Drink some some sample-y stuff and just kind of see what's going on out here. So uh, there's a lot. There's quite a bit to do out here. So we're gonna explore adventure. I'm gonna clean myself up and yeah, see you guys in a minute. Okay. Well, all cleaned up. Okay. Got my energy drink. Okay. Where are all the counters at? Who else is counting? I need you to come here so I, I, I can hear it. So I'll clean up, I'm gonna go get my beer. Okay. Get some food. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't take a finisher picture though. That's okay. That's kind of stupid. All right. But I'm gonna get the shirt, so, so there's that. I got an announcement. I'm starving. And this is a bad hungry? announcement. Yeah, we're hungry. We're gonna get food after we got a beer. So apparently, get whiskey and beer. After running a race and not eating, you're driving home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My legs are cramped anyways. They cramp on the gas pedal, you know. Going too fast. No? 
How you gonna explain yourself? Because my calves are cramping. Thank you all for all my success. Yeah, she's driving home. Well guys, we're out of here. It was fun. It was a lot. I am very tired, very sore. Uh, again, dumb. those calf cramps. Whew, did they hit me hard at by mile six. Like, I was trying my everything to keep a jog. I did. I stayed jogging the whole time. It might have been really slow, but I kept it up the whole time. Didn't fail any of the obstacles. Stuck around to help people out and just kind of motivate people and everything like that. But it was fun. It was really fun. I'm glad I did it. I didn't get to do it last year because COVID and a lot of them were virtual and then some of them were like Florida and stuff like that. So I just didn't do it. But I'm planning on doing the Rugged Maniac in September. You know, I think it's in September. That one's shorter. That one's only 5K, but it's at a ski resort. So it's up and down ski slopes the entire time. Same thing though. It's 25 obstacles in a 5k so you run like 100 yards and then do an obstacle it's fun but we're gonna head home we might go to the races tonight and kind of see how we feel if we're tired if we're awake if we're up to it it's just like it's an hour drive i don't know we'll see we'll see how we feel if uh, you see races in this video then obviously we went to the races if you don't see races in this video then I either don't like you or we didn't go to the races. But we probably didn't go to the races. So I'll check in with you guys later on. Well guys, as you can tell, we didn't go to the races. We decided to hang out at home. We're tired, I'm beat. Still gotta work all week. Just kinda wanted time at home. I'm busy all day tomorrow too. So we decided to just hang out at home. We're gonna eat our Chick-fil-A, hang out outside for a little while, enjoy the nice night. It's like 75 degrees right now. It's perfect out for nighttime. And uh, play with the dogs and enjoy life. Appreciate you guys hanging out today, watching the video, checking out Tough Mudder. It's a blast. I highly recommend anybody and everybody do it. You don't have to run the whole time. You don't have to walk the whole time. You can skip obstacles. You can do the obstacles. You do whatever you want. It's a blast. And you get cool swag afterwards. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, dang, girl. Ooh. Don't look at me like that because I said swag. I did. You did. She looked at me like that. <clears throat> but it's it's a blast. It's well worth it. Especially now that COVID's taking a step back and we can uh, get back to normal lives. <laughs> it's worth it. Anyways, guys, again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I had a blast today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, throw comments in there, they laugh at my struggles, because there were some struggles today, and I will see you guys on the next video, love you, bye bye.